So hey guys, welcome back to another video and today is sorry I look really red if I do. Um I was on a hike just a second ago. There are four holiday treats that I just want to share with you guys that are quick, easy, and if you're just going spontaneously go to a holiday party, they're just really easy and quick to do and you can just whip them up like that. Some of them are a little time consuming, you do have to let them cool, but the other two are like really quick and easy and you can just get them really like that. And everybody thinks that you kind of it's kind of like life hacks and all that stuff and they look like you put a little more work than you actually did um but yeah and um i've been doing vlogmas a lot so um if you guys um want to go check out those if you're really into vlogmas i have been i upload vlogs on this channel i don't have like a separate channel like other youtubers i'm not like offending them i just prefer to have all my videos on one channel just if you guys like any of these treats and um one of them i made before two three of them i have not three of them um i i just saw in other youtube videos i've seen like pretty much one of them i've pretty much seen everywhere but i did not exactly make it right i'll explain that in my voiceover what i what i did wrong and i'll just see you guys at the end of the video we're gonna start off with pretzel hugs you're gonna need obviously pretzels Hershey's and any type of M&Ms. First you're going to get a pin with some parchment paper on it. And you're going to lay the pretzels on the pin with some parchment paper and then you're going to start putting the kisses on. Make sure your oven is at 200 degrees so you can melt the chocolate. Then once the chocolate is just melted to where it's not like drooping over then you start putting the kisses on this top and you press down Next thing you need for puppy chow is some chocolate, and you're going to need a big bowl, and then you're going to need some peanut butter and some butter. Also going to need some Chex Mix cereal. So first what you're going to do is open the chocolate, and then you're going to want to put it in the bowl. You're going to want to do about maybe two cups. I put two cups, but however you want how much chocolate you want in it. And so that's what I'm doing right here. Then you put that, then you start putting the peanut butter in the bowl. And you just, I did about a cup. And just once again, you can do how much you want or how peanut buttery you want it. And then I put the butter in it and then you are going to want to put it in the microwave and then you're going to want to stir it up. And then you're going to want to open the Chex Mix cereal and put it in the little mix that you made. And then with the powdered sugar, what you're going to do is you're going to want to put it in a bag and then shake it up once you mix all this together. Because I didn't do that, but... So for the mini crescent rolls, you're going to need a pan. You're going to need some crescent rolls from Pillsbury. And then you're going to want some chocolate to put inside the mini chocolate crescent rolls. You're going to lay out the little triangles and put the chocolate at the big end of the crescent roll and you're just going to roll it up with the chocolate. And once you're done rolling it up, you're going to want to pinch the ends so the chocolate doesn't ooze out when you're cooking them. And then you're going to put them in the oven at 350. And sorry for the angle once again, but you're just going to put them in for 350, 375. And then for the mini marshmallow chocolate mugs, you're going to need a bowl, some chocolate, and then you're going to need some mini marshmallows and jumbo marshmallows and some peppermint candy canes. Then you're going to take the chocolate and you're going to do about two to three cups. You're going to put it in the bowl and then you're going to put it in the microwave for two minutes and 30 seconds or until it's melted. I just melted the chocolate, but while the chocolate was melting, I unwrapped some candy canes and breaked out the tops for the handles of the mugs. You're going to take the jumbo marshmallows and you're going to open them and then get like a fork or something and stick it on the fork. And then you're going to like roll it around in the chocolate until it's all covered. You're going to take the mini marshmallows and put them on top as kind of like the whipped cream of your hot chocolate. You're going to take the peppermint and stick it in the marshmallow 
And then you're going to get a jumbo marshmallow to prop it up while it's drying so the peppermint candy cane does not fall off. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. It was a lot of fun to film and I just, I love all these um, treats. And if you guys like too, then please give this video a thumbs up. And um, I love, I um, comment down below which one was your favorite and which one that you were really excited to try out. And um, just once again, the puppy chow. Do not mix it up and fold it with the powdered sugar. Put it in a bag after you mix it up with the um, mix. Put it in a bag and um, mix it up with the powdered sugar before it dries. Because I did not do that. I folded it and totally forgot that. But do that. Just tell them you need a big plastic bag. Like one of the, not the quart size, the four quart I think. I don't know what it's called. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys like. Go hit that subscribe button too because it notifies anytime me or Hayden makes a video. It's completely free. So go hit that bell. Ding a ling button. Kind of festive -y. But yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.